Welcome to the 24th video on beginning CSS. In this video, we're going to examine the border property. And so let's open up our CSS style sheet and let's work against paragraph 4, the CSS code in paragraph 4. And that, of course, is right here. Now, of course, we've already talked about the border color, the border width, and the border style properties, but we're going to examine these a little bit more in depth. But first, let's take a look at the border color property. Now, of course, we know that in CSS, there are three ways to specify color. One way is to use the name, and we're doing that right here. We're specifying black. The other is to use the RGB value, and the other is to use the hex code. So let's go ahead and put in the hex code, and we'll just come over here and paste this. Let's save this. Let's open up our web page. And there you can see we've got a nice green, dark green actually, border. So let's close that out. Now in terms of the border width, you can use three keywords here. You can use thin, medium, or thick. Or you can just give the pixel size. And we've been doing that. We gave this two pixels. But let's go ahead and use one of these border width keywords. So let's make this thick. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's open up our web page. And as you can see now, we have this nice thick border around our paragraph element. So let's close this out. Now the third property, of course, is the style property. And this is where things can get pretty interesting. Now we've been using solid, of course, throughout the series, but let's uh, let's take a look at some of these others. Let's try, uh, let's try dashed, and let's take a look at this one. So we'll save this. And there you can see we have a dashed border. Uh, let's take a look at double. Let's try that. And you can try some of these yourself as well. So let's go ahead and put in double. We'll save it again. And there you can see we have a nice double border now. Now these bottom four right here have a 3D effect. And so these can really make your border very dynamic. So let's try, uh, let's try ridge. And if we take a look and you can see there's a little bit of a 3D effect here now. And actually, that looks really good in my opinion. And so let's go ahead and use that for our border on our paragraph 4 element. And we'll just keep that. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.